What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube. We're starting this bad boy off with a time walk. Put that power in the pile. This pack doesn't even look that exciting otherwise. We got a Thrag Tuscan Resto. That's a pretty cute combo. It's not going to do it, though. What up, Swanny Boy, Ash, and Mediocre Magic Man? Triple M. <laughs> Oh, what up, Nick? What up, James? Yeah, Mike B is out celebrating his birthday today. Oh, <laughs> time walk into mind twist? Jesus. Oh, good lord. That's pretty good. I'm going to take mind twist. And then we're going to find ways to... Destroy people with mind twist. Oh, I like, I like Blightsteel Colossus. I also like Tropical Island. I don't know if Blightsteel Colossus is good enough. Do we just hope for Tinker though? I think maybe. Especially because the Tinker deck is really yeah. We're gonna take the Blightsteel Colossus. Especially because the Tinker deck is going to be, uh, it's going to make mana, and it's going to be blue, so. Will you choose Bright Spice of Our Birth? I just did. Uh, and that We just made it happen. There's also a Mind's Desire here. That's pretty sweet. I don't think we're Mind's Desiring, though. Oh, yeah, that Dinner Control. Toxic Deluge is pretty good. I like Forge Master because we can potentially get this guy, but I think Deluge is probably better. And Forge Master might even just come back. Plus, like, if we don't play this, we can still have a pretty sweet blue-black control deck. And I think we'll take Vindelian Click here for that reason. Oh, Creeping Tarpid seems fantastic. Let's take that. I don't think we're metalworking just yet. No, oh, this pack is... Pretty rough. I, I thought Winds of Abandon was fantastic when we had it last uh in last the the previous draft that we had it in. Um hmm. Ashen Rider. Is this a replacement effect? I believe it is. Uh reveal it and shuffle. Yeah, it's an instead. Okay. I think we just take overflowing chalice. Everflowing chalice rather. Again, it's good for Tinker. There's nothing in this pack that's super Murderous Rider. I'm all about a Murderous Rider. <sighs> all right. Bone Shredder. On Barrel Arts, Arcane Artisan's pretty decent, especially if we put in a Blightsteel Colossus. That's just another way to get Blightsteel Colossus out. Pernicious dude, what's up, my pernicious dude? Always good seeing you.
I'm gonna take this Golos. Uh, Nighthawk's actually fine. Uh, do you think this cube is possible to have five on? <laughs> I think it's possible. Yeah, this is what I, th I knew this guy would come back. Masquerum's also great though, especially with an Arcane Artisan. Collective Brutality, Pack Rat, pretty good. Swanny Boy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, really appreciate it. Faded MTG, what's going on, my dude? I'm gonna take, maybe it's Simic Signet? We're still looking for a Tinker here. Dak Faden is very, very good in Powered Vintage Cube, but we don't have any red sources. I also resub, but it didn't give a call out. Oh man, well, did you did you resub correctly? Got him. It might just be Packrat. Packrat's just super good. I actually like Simic Signet because we have Mind Twist and it's half of our colors. Oh, plus we got an Ulamog now. I don't think we're upheavaling. I think I'd rather take the Ulamog, especially with Arcane Artisan. Force of Will, Fatal Push, Ulamog, Upheaval. These are all our options. Um, I do like Tomb. Yeah, Je Jedi Django, which is a fantastic name. Uh, Ancient Tomb was a good choice. I like Signet just because we are trying to get a Tinker. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Um, I think it's Ulamog. Whatever. Just take the Woolamog. Oh, I like Vista. I also like Charter Course. Like Charter Course is also a way to discard something if we want to reanimate it. Yeah, I'll take Charter Course here. There's an Orzhov signet. Also an on color signet. Search for us content, another way to get things in the graveyard. I do like that. Ophiomancer doesn't do much for what we're doing right now. I'll take the search. I like both of these. Man, we can have three time walk effects. Two time walk effects. I don't know why I said three there. I think I like control magic a little better here, though. Especially with the time walk already in our... Jesus. Don't think it's Living Death. Don't think it's Thing in the Ice. Could just be Emrakul, especially because we have Arcane Artisan. I like... Oh, I like Bitter Blossom. I also like Shriek Maw. I don't know what we're doing with all these big creatures, but we're going to figure something out. We also have Ashen Rider in the sideboard. Shriek Maw seems decent. Bitter Blossom seems good. I think Bitter Blossom has a higher upside. Makeshift Mannequin, what do you do? I don't know. Not, well, you're an instant. We could actually go, like, search for his content, put one of these in the graveyard. Not this guy, of course. 
and then makeshift mannequin and back. I mean, it's probably better than Dark Petition, so I'm going to take it. Collective Brutality. Another Emrakul. Um, let me just keep this in the main deck. It's not terrible. Take Spire Bluff Canal. Maybe we play a red thing. Freebooter. Ophiomancer comes back. All right. Buried Alive. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Living Death. Living Death Buried Alive just made us... Oh, wow. I feel like now we just got a plan. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to put this over here and sort that way. And we can put this over here. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx and Demonic Tutor. So both of these are basically power. <laughs> also a Watery Grave? Jeez. The problem with Demo is that it gets Living Death and it gets uh, Buried Alive, which, are, which is like our combo. And by problem, I mean I want to take Consecrated Sphinx, but this is giving me a problem. Thank you. Water Sports Drew, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate you. I think you should take Sphinx. Really? I feel like we have so much top end already that I kind of just want the Demonic Tutor. I mean, look, I don't think either pick is wrong. Oh god. Alright, we took Demonic Tutor. Library of Alexandria? <sighs> Alright. Underground C2? Jeez. I like Demonic Tutor. I think it's just better in this in this deck where we're like trying to do two things now. Like we can go Ashen Rider, um Ulamog, Blights. No, we can't go Blight Scale Classes. <laughs> it's gotta be library. I mean I want an underground C, but it's gotta be library. I don't think it's very close. Bloodstained Mire seems great here because maybe we'll table the Watery Grave or the Underground. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to take the Underground. I think Library is just too good most of the time. Did I say Underground? I meant Bloodstained Mire. I was reading the chat. My bad. I like I like Jitte, especially because we have Bitter Blossom, but I also just like Dark Slick Shores here. We already have Toxic Deluge, which I'll probably be sideboarding. Yeah, we're just taking the Shores. Grave Titan is another good one to put in the Graveyard. Shieldred? Mm, okay. Well, now we're getting the now we're getting things. Now we're getting things going. Charter Course and Collective Brutality are both also good ways to uh, also Arcane Artisan Arctic seems to be coming together. Good lord. I might actually take these two out. Because they don't get shuffled in. Or they get shuffled in rather. Um geez, it's another three drop. I'll just take the duress for the sideboard, I guess. Uh, 
Mirror Battle Sphere. I think Go for the Throat's probably a little better. We don't have a ton of removal removal. And Go for the Throat is a good one. I don't think we need any more big dudes. Uh, did my last message not go there? I did not see any messages from you. Heroes Downfall. The Underground Sea did not come back because Magic the Gathering hates us. I guess that, that might have been the Water Grave. No, I think that was the Underground Sea pack, and I think they're both gone now. I'm off Sundays and Mondays. Guys, the reanimate came back, which is pretty sick. Also, show and tell. <laughs> oh, man. I'd rather reanimate than show and tell. Vampire Hex Mage, okay. Shallow Grave. Hold on. All right, so you're okay. So actually, we don't really need we don't really need Golos because we're not we're not um, tinkering. I could probably cut Bitter Blossom. I do like Ophiomancer a lot. I think making 1-1 one, one snakes every turn is pretty good. Bitter Blossom doesn't have a super huge effect. Chalice. Chalice is kind of meh. We need one more cut. Thank you. Hmm. Tires, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hold on. <laughs> Main deck duress could be fine. I mean, we still have to find one cut. What are our big fat boys? These guys? And what are we? We're not playing Blightsteel and Emrakul, right? I think they're just too cute. Can you not? There we go. Okay. I was like, can you not drag this? Because, like, the only thing we can hit Emrakul or Blightsteel with when they're in the graveyard is Makeshift Mannequin. They can't be Living Death. They can't be Reanimated. 
They can't be buried alive, so. And I do like Ashen Rider. I think it's a pretty sweet card to just toss in the graveyard. Plus, we have Collective Brutality, Search for Escanta, Chart a Course, uh, and Arcane Artisan if it ends up in our hand. It is Reanimator, my dudes. Maybe we don't need two of these. Nah, we probably still want to be. I think we can actually cut one of these. I think we cut Murderous Rider. It's only nine creatures though. Four of which, five of which are these. So we have four creatures down on this end. We have this guy, this guy. I don't actually love Kite Sail Freebooter here. I don't think he's great. I'd rather have, like, Vampire Nighthawk. Because then they just get their card back. We also have Control Magic. Yeah, this actually... Let's see how this goes. I have no idea if this deck's going to be any good whatsoever. That's my... What? No, get out of here. Oh, because they're going to give one white. They're like, here, I think you need one white mana. So this is 8 plus 6, 14, 17, perfect. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9. We definitely have more black. 8 sources of blue, 10 sources of black, and a signet. So it's like 10, 9 almost. Oh, what up, it's your boy, Tom. Turns are overrated. I agree with you. Just kidding, I don't agree with you. <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're like, oh, your only white card is an Ashen Rider that costs double white? Toss some planes on that boy. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Um. Yeah, I don't hate this. So after three years of painting and saving my girlfriend, and I finally pulled the trigger and bought our first house this past summer. That's awesome, dude. Just two months after buying it, a pipe burst destroying and flooding the entire house. That's less awesome. Because of the location, our insurance insured it for almost double its worth. So now we got to tear down and destroy the house and have the money to build the house of our dream. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, man, what a roller coaster. That's insane. Oh, insurance. Thank you so much. Wow, what a win, dude. I'm like, this is great. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is great again. That was in woo. I need a I need a drink after that. And I don't even drink. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Have you guys ever searched for as content before? I haven't. Or have I? Am I doing it right now? I don't know. Hmm. Let's put a Grave Titan into the graveyard and then just reanimate it immediately. How's that sound? Pretty good? Okay. You ready? Here we go. Um, I'm still going to put it in the graveyard. I don't want no island. I don't want no island. Ding, 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 ding. At first it was like this. And then it was like this. No one shot what you got. And my phone just keeps going off anytime she goes away. Did I do anything? 
I'll just oh they got a watery grave. I bet that was my watery grave. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> like next second main I'll draw a card with Jace. Well that's a weird it's a weird distinction, but okay. Okay. Yeah, get get out of here. Get 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 out of here. I got in a very heated argument with an ex-girlfriend because she wouldn't let me turn our walk-in closet into a ball pit. Maybe that's why she's an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh boy. I think we're gonna draw a card here. Oh my god, really kitty cat? Oh, what up, Christopher? My my boy. It's your boy, Christopher. Chase Bellerin was literally just a divination. I guess no, it's actually like uh you you spend one card to draw three cards, so you net two cards. A little bit better than divination, but all right, yeah, take what you like. So long, mind twist. I gotta take mind twist, right? I'm so glad I pay you five dollars a month to make fun of me. <laughs> me too, buddy. Me too. Oh, we have a good time. Draw two cards, then dis two, dis dis two cards. Tell little man all will be well, and he doesn't need to yell. No, he won't listen. He doesn't care. My date. I'm gonna go. Me climbing out of the ball pit at McDonald's. You sure? <laughs> uh, are they storming us? Roman thoughts he's metamorphosed. Uh, grave tight in your graveyard. Yeah, you know what? Okay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. I'm gonna get this dude back. Ain't no darkness every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do 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 do. Gonna play this guy. Hope you're not a sweet bear. But doom to doom to doom. Are you excited for the new Star Wars movie? Also, do you like, do you really like how the story has unfolded? Um, so I'm actually someone who doesn't have very many criticisms with the new Star Wars movies. I've actually enjoyed them. I go into them thinking they are movies called Star Wars, and then I have a good time. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I like what they've been, so... And they had Toxic Deluge. That's pretty good. I guess we still have Living Death, though, don't we? That's pretty good, too. My morning started with me cleaning a smorgasbord of dog poo off the kitchen floor because my dog had surgery last week to remove a tumor, and he has to hang in the kitchen until the stitches get removed. He had diarrhea, and it was everywhere, including inside of his cone of shame. Oh, dang, my dude. Yo, dog, how are you going to act? Yo, dog, why you got to be like this? One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to live in death, my dude. We're trying to avoid mana leak here. Diar it is diarrhea, my dudes. Oh, look at that. Living End. <laughs> Living End is just literally put 6, 12, uh, 2, 4, 6, 18 power on the board. It's pretty good.
d d d d d rest my dudes. Uh, Vampire Hexmage seems good against their double double Planeswalker deck. Go for the Throat can come out. We saw no creatures. Control Magic can come out as well, my dudes. He also can't get a bath until the stitches come out, so I had to wipe him down thoroughly with baby wipes, like a common prostitute taking a sink bath before the walk goes. <laughs> wow, Jesus! Oh my God, he's so loud, dude. Last question, then I have to clean up my daughter's poopy diaper. Have you tried the Burger King Impossible? Whopper? Yeah, like ten times. I love the Burger King Impossible Whopper. It is one of my favorite fast food options now, and I've gone to Burger King more in the past month and a half than I have. In the past 10 years. I have also tried the Dunkin' Donuts um, Beyond Sausage muffins. Egg and cheese muffins. And they are also fantastic. So, Yes, I saw that the, the Office's YouTube channel put out the uh, entire, entire uh, Threat Level Midnight. Um, I also said, I said that I answered, I answer, I answer a lot of these questions regularly, I think. Uh, I also mentioned that I love that the Office YouTube channel is still putting things out, like, in 2019. Would you be concerned if it was labeled as an improbable Whopper? I don't know, improbably. Kitty Cat, hi. Kitty Cat's down here now. Yeah, it's Kitty Cat moving the curtain. <laughs> He's right here now. Want to come up here? You don't. You never come up here. Come here. Come on. Let's see if I can get him up here. He never comes up here. He's never jumped on me ever. Hey, come here. Oh, it's a little man stream. Little man stream. What are you doing, Chief? Where are you going? You can come down? You can just sit here. Nobody minds. I moved the he moved the mic. <laughs> he moved everything. My opponent's gonna be like, where'd you go? I'm gonna be like, I got a kitty cat here, brah. He's never come up here before, but he stretched and he was he like he he did his little he did his hand thing where he's like lift me up, my dude, and I was like okay, I got you, fam. Now he's just hanging out here. This is amazing, truly blessed. <laughs> oh man, let's see what you got. I don't care what ultimate price to dig through time seems like it's got to go, my dude. Yeah, you, no no digging, no no dig. Hi. Ain't no little man when he's gone. No little man when he's away. Hi. You liking it up here? He's being real loud. I don't know if you guys can hear him purring over here. Yeah, that's good. Rub your head against the microphone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't even know what's going on. My opponent's like, can you hurry up, dude? I still have more time than they do. Whoa, careful. Oh, you're slipping. Oh, God, he's slipping. There you go. <laughs> he slipped. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Focus. There we go. All right, guys. That was a little man visit. One, two, three. I'll just Nighthawk here. So they play Cliffs, sure. Dig through time's gone. We know these five cards because they drew Ophiomancer. Sounds good. Ain't no sunshine when you go home. 
ultimate price and what badlands so we still know the fork are you still just angrass rampage actually this is this makes your impact ingress rampage pretty bad because we have ophiomancer as well Little man, stop being loud. <laughs> All right, so you played another island. So your hand is island, island, rampage, one other random thing. He goes away. Boom, 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 boom. You know, not every day. Actually, do we just want to hold cards? Like, next turn, we go to six. I don't think we're going to bet. <sighs> oh, man. All right, so we can reanimate Vampire Nighthawk, which means if they draw. Toxic Deluge. They have to do it for three, which puts them to four. And then we can makeshift Mannequin Vendillion click at the end of that turn. I think I like that a lot. Because this is also just five damage in the air, which is not nothing. Less magic, less Frank, more Lil Man. I, I bet he's discarding. I bet they discard two islands. Oh, wait. They discarded Swamp Island. So we know you have another island and an Angrass Rampage. Fascinating. Okay. So we have Island, Angrass Rampage, and something else. If I were them, I actually would have attacked with Snake there. Because then they could cast Angrass Rampage. And at least get rid of Ophiomancer, Vampire Nighthawk, or Vendillion Click. Okay, so now Toxic Deluge is not an option. So I think we're just going to round two. Our deck is pretty good today. Let's play first. I'm also looking for... So I, I, I posted this on Facebook. I don't know if I loved... Um, I'm going to keep this hand. It's not great, but we have Collective Brutality to interact with them. We can discard these these lands, which kind of make this do two things. And if we also draw like a reanimate, we can just discard a Grave Titan and reanimate it. Um, I mentioned... I messaged... messaged the, I, I posted this on, on, on Facebook. I, we played Disco Elysium last night. And while I think the game is good... For some reason, it didn't like, I didn't. It didn't like mesh with me as a streaming game. Oh wow, that's that's what we're talking about here. Okay. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Cast, target opponent, target opponent. Oh, we'll discard Grave Titan. It's not an easy streaming. It's a bit hard to watch. That's exactly what I was thinking. There's a lot of reading. And and for for games to be streamed, I don't love. I don't love games that require a ton and ton of reading. Oh, we can just get rid of Counterspell. Okay. Okay. 
Because, I mean, like, I could just... I could play it on my own in my house, and I don't mind reading it. But, like, if I have to read everything and do, like, different... Like, if I'm reading, like, different characters, it's really... It's, it's harder because then I'm, like, trying to... Uh, Let's hope you didn't... There we go. Cool. You know, you guys have to, like, figure out who I'm reading and who's saying what. Today I learned that after 15 years in North America, my mother-in-law thinks fettuccine is a sauce. Can I get that fettuccine sauce? The what? I'm sorry, the what now? I'm sorry, the what now? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Anytime she goes away. Yeah, I think Bioshock Infinite would be good. I also haven't played it, and I really need an excuse to play it, so. I don't think you're actually going to give me an option to... I think we just take control magic here and hope we don't just give them Splinter Twin. <laughs> but I guess they only have one red anyway, so... Uh, so Frost, Saige, Inferno, Glen, Island, Mountain. Frost, Inferno, Frost, Siege, Inferno. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll just take rid of Control Magic. Glenelange Archmage I don't care about at all. Next turn, if they cast it now, I can just steal it with Control Magic. How much is a PC capture card? Mike really wants to play Death Stranding. And I feel like that's a game we could stream. If someone tells me how to do that, I'll be more than... Uh, okay, so you played Mox and you played an island. So we know your hand is these five cards. You draw Mox off of the. Sure, that's fine. Thank you. Actually, you played a. You played the mountain, didn't you? So island and Glen are gone. So you actually need a second mountain to do anything. 6, 79, 10, 11, you go to 5, and you should be dead next turn, I would imagine. How can they draw mountain and twin? That doesn't even make any sense. They'll be dead before then. Icarus, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the gifted sub, dude. Really appreciate you, my dude. I don't think any of these cards save you. Glenelange is gone. So in your hand is Inferno Titan, Frost Titan, Siege Gang Commander. You played a second mountain. So you know Frost, Siege, and Inferno. Shouldn't there be one less card? One more card? One less card? Nah, eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Lots of big creatures. Two Titans. Oh, that's right. They still had an island because they played Mountain Mountain. I, I missed I missed remove the island. That's correct. So they had two cards we did not know about. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to link me what I need to stream PS4 games on my PC. Um, or if you guys want to just if you guys just want to send it to me as a Christmas gift, I can stream some PS4 games. Murderous Rider probably comes in because you want to be able to kill their things. The rest probably comes in. 
Oh man, stealing that counter spell with Collective Brutality while also discarding Grave Titan and then reanimating it seems pretty good. Probably get rid of Make Mass Massacre Worm. Yeah, I literally Googled it and I saw the HD60. <laughs> that's funny. I was like, well, that's what I thought. Is this correct? How come shop now is grayed out? Is it is it grayed out for you guys on that page? What's going on? That's weird. I'll keep the sand. Oh, uh, we saw a counterspell. Yeah, but I mean, they're... I don't know. Interesting. It's not grayed out for you. I'm going to refresh it. Yeah, it's definitely grayed out for me. I can't click on the shop now button. That's kind of weird. My, my only problem with... Uh, with streaming PS4 games is it means I have to put my PlayStation in the room with my computer rather than like in the living room. Right? That's a thing, right? One Mizium Orders Zealous Ancient Tomb Phyrexian Metamorph. Okay. They mulligan? Yeah, they went to six on the play. Okay. Oh, that was a good top deck. Impressive. I mean, we just have to... It sucks to use the time walk here, but the alternative is not hitting a land drop, so... I guess we want to hit a land drop. Show me what you got. Hey, I really appreciate the fact that you pronounce my name correctly, even though it is not the traditional spelling. Most of the streamers should say Ick. Oh, it's Ic it's obviously Icarus. That's weird. That's weird. Um, I think we just take Metamorph here. That's the scariest of the bunch. I mean, Metamorph being able to copy Galen and George Mage is pretty unbeatable, especially because they get to keep a blue mana up. Uh, Zealous Conscripts mean if they draw land, they have to tap out for it hmm oh uh, Nighthawk Nighty McHawkerson Yep. 
Um, I'm just gonna block here. God, this one along Glenelanger Archmage is really problematic. Uh, I'm a, I, I can type pretty quickly. I, I imagine it's because I've uh, professionally typed for the past 10 years. <laughs> Either writing articles or being an editor or, you know, lots of things. All right, we'll let this resolve first. Let's get this guy and make sure you don't have any shenanigans. His typing power level is over 9,000. All right, let's go to these two. Uh, Siege Gang, Frost Titan. Okay, so none of these are very exciting. Eh, I'll take Conscripts. Now you have a card that's a, you need a second red for. Abbot of Curl Keep. That guy's for sure hitting a land. Oh, a counter spell. <laughs> oh, they hit. You hit a. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. Because if we get to steal Galen Arch, Glenelendra Archmage, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll take one. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I got some chats going on here. I'm trying to sort something out. I mean, they don't block, right? There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> really? Very aggressive. You gonna counter this? Ooh, no counter, huh? Okay. I'm gonna chart that course. Play that land. All right, so buried alive, we can put a bunch of dudes in the graveyard. We don't have any reason to, really. Here comes Siege Gang Commander. This Vampire Nighthawk still might just carry us. No, 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 no. We could actually steal Siege Gang and kill something else. It's not great. We could Murderous Rider and then Buried Alive. That's also not 
great. Now we can't actually shoot something. Never mind. Yeah, I might just take Siege Game because it blocks all these things. Why would go for the therapy Sunny D? I don't actually know if I get that. They also have Frost Titan, but like, let's be real. If they play Frost Titan, we're not going to be able to. Uh, we're not going to be able to steal it. We have nowhere close to eight mana, so we can Murderous Rider because it hurts your. Th oh wow, wow. See, that's funny. I can't believe I didn't get that. I feel. I feel dumb now. This is like the lowest of the low. Siege Gang is gone. We know your hand is Frost Titan Force of Negation, so if you want to counter this, you did not. Oh, that's fascinating. Wow. Just this guy, huh? All right. I'll bite. So there are four. And they have one card and we're just gonna kill the Frost Titan. Okay. I wish I had one more land. So the last card is a Force of Negation, but they died in two turns to Vampire Nighthawk, and this is basically off the table. I guess we hope they don't draw Kiki Gigi Splinter Twin, right? Huh? Kiki Gigi Splinter Twin. Huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well... Let's see it. Let's see my, let's see you boy. Actually they're dead to Caribbean Tarpet Vampire Nighthawk, right? I don't get another turn. Yeah, Hammer Time knows what's up. Pester might. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, they're dead. Because they have to actually... No, they can go tap down Creeping Tar Pit. Huh. Fascinating. So, one, two, three. We activate this. They tap down the Creeping Tar Pit. And then they have a blocker. Starts pretty good here, because otherwise they have no they have no reason to play this. Or it still gets the pestermite out of their hand, and they still have to take another two. So if we don't activate this, they have no reason to cast pestermite. So. So 
So we only have one card, it's Force of Negation. Sure. All right, let's see if they can top deck it. That ain't it. So they're dead, right? Okay. Well, these matches have been very quick. What up, Dragon Senpai? No, 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 no. They neither, neither kikied nor jikied. Gamma set, what's going on, my dude? I'll keep this hand. Do you know how good Demonic Tutor is when you have to go get a land, guys? It's the best. Tutor for a land you won't, buddy. You must not know me very well. I have definitely tutored for a land before. Wow. Punished. If I was going to stream a Final Fantasy game, I definitely wouldn't stream Final Fantasy IX because that game sucks ass. Or Final Fantasy... Oh, I was thinking seven. Final Fantasy IX is not bad. But again, the problem is like it's just too much talking. It's too much reading. I have to read everything online. You know, and it's just not fun. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for the viewers because the viewers don't know who's talking when I'm reading. So like if I'm just sitting there reading the whole time, it's just not great. Final Fantasy VII is super overrated, I think. Oh god, please just let me get a, a black source. They didn't let me do it. <clears throat> what game are you thinking about streaming? I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out. Because we played Disco Elysium and I just didn't feel like it was a very streamable game. So I made the overlay and I made the stupid thumbnail for the YouTube videos. And now I'm not even probably going to stream it, so... They attacked with Giver of Runes after they they took Vendillion quick? What is happening right now? So you're just banking on me not drawing a swamp here? Ever? Joke's on you! I drew a swamp bee! Do -do 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 -do. Let me get rid of one of their lands. I mean, I'm definitely streaming Cyberpunk when it comes out, but that's like three months away, so I do have to fill the time between now and then. What do we kill here? We could just get rid of their planes. Yeah, I don't really care about either of these creatures on board, so... I'll take two, my dude. Hmm. You should stream Overwatch. Oh, lordy. I mean, I'm tempted to go get a swamp here, guys. Yeah, I've definitely played Cuphead a good deal. Um, Dark Souls I have not played, but I don't feel like I'd enjoy it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Buried alive, we take five. It's not great. I just hope we draw land living in. That seems bad. Living death? Living death, right? We can take both their cards, then we go to two. Like, and then what? what's our plan? We have to, and then they're going to play another another guy. And they have three guys on board, we're at two life. Yeah, that seems, how do we win? It's cool that we can do that, but that doesn't actually help us get anywhere. I'd be more interested in time walking, untapping, control magic in the vanguard, and that keeps this guy back. I think I like that. It also helps us maybe hit a land. Arcane Artisan, you don't do anything, unfortunately. Steal this dude. So now, like, we could just block. Did not check our life total. Seems relevant. Dark Confidant. That's pretty good. Oh, I like that they played in such a way that they can't cast Murderous Rider. That's pretty cool. Let's get this guy off the board. Interesting. Two, three. Arcane Art doesn't seem good here, actually. <laughs> Fucking incredible. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is an incredible turn of events, man. Sure. Doesn't really matter what you take. None of these cards are really going to... Yep, the old Dark Confidant draw into Mana Tithe and to tap down your black source. Cool. Yep. Oh, wow. That was a very good draw. Holy smokes. Wow, talk about good draws. Talk about good draws. Both of these creatures kill both of their creatures. They hit Resto. That's pretty good. If we could just draw lands naturally on turn fucking 12 instead of having three lands and having to search for one of them, I'd really appreciate it. Yep, that's cool. So we're just dead to resto, right? Because we can't block it, so they just... I don't know why they didn't... I guess... Hmm, doesn't matter. Actually, let's mind twist them now. Because it gets rid of the resto, which makes them... Ha well, I guess they just play it, right? Yeah, they just play it, don't block anything, right? I mean, they don't have to blink anything is the problem, so. Yeah, they just blink Dark Confidant and kill us. It doesn't do anything. Toxic Deluge. Let's bring you in. I mean, we drew three fucking lands in that game, and they tapped them down every single turn, so. Um, what, you know, what are you going to do? Let's board a little more aggressively. Let's bring in like Bitter Blossom, Murderous Rider, take out the Buried Alive. So now we're playing like Bitter Blossom and Ophiomancer with Yogmoth. Um, got Toxic Deluge. Probably take out Ashen Rider. Q 
keep. Snap keep. Snap. Snaps McKeeples. God, it'd really be great if we can draw more than three lands in 15, 13 turns. That'd be sweet. Primaris Paras, thank you so much for the Bye. gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Strip fucking mine. This is unreal, dude. This is actually fucking unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. It's not even like, Thank it's not even like they just turn to Emrakul Dust, which is actually a cool thing to do. This is just boring bullshit that you're going to get Land Destruction turn one, Giver of Ruins, Rashadden Port on turn two. I mean, if we can draw lands naturally, like a normal game of Magic, I think we're in okay shape, but sure, duress us. Oh, look, we're drawing lands naturally, like like adults, and they have nothing going on, so I think we're finally doing it, guys. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I never thought we'd get here. Tide Hollow Scully Boy. You got it. Demo, okay, well, hmm. Kind of just want to play Nighthawk here. Actually, I like I like artisan here a lot. Actually, because it lets us start looting, and we still can block their tide hollow sculler. So, Fine, I'll gain the life. They have three cards. I think our I think our hand is better. Until they play Dark Confidant. Can we just draw Toxic Deluge once? That would be cool. That would be super cool. I just want to do super cool things. Like draw Toxic Deluge. You got it. It is Toxic Deluge, my dudes. It's not. Yep, and now things are getting out of hand. Thank you! Tavo, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Here's to Wednesday, my dude. Here's to it. I can't wait to get a haircut on Tuesday. It's a Tuesday haircut. Click him is fine, but I really I really feel like we need to find things. So I'm actually more inclined to just play Search for his content. We take five if they want to tap out, four if they don't. Seven if they want to attack with this guy too. Six if they don't want to attack with this. I think I think we just need the filtering of search. Yeah. Things are looking worse for our heroes. We get like four four looks to find a a thing. Uh, you you can go to the graveyard, and you can enter my hand. 
Enter my hand. Sure, tap them all, put them all in the in the zone. Let's see what you got. We could have actually targeted ourselves here to reanimate if we're really looking for the hit. Well, you got got mana tied in there, huh? Let's get rid of Silver Blade Paladin, I guess. Um, we got four cards. We got rid of Silver Blade. We got about the Ophiomancer, the Swamp. They play the swamp. Okay, so we know these three. Yeah, home block here. They'll give a pro blue, and that's fine. Can you sing Sunny D for my wife? Wow, that's a weird request. No one has ever asked me to do that before. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. <laughs> oh, so we take one, two, three, four, five. So we're basically dead because we can't cast any of the cards in our hand. And Living Death is one turn away. So that was a fucking really fun series of matches, series of games there. I'm glad you guys could be here for that. Uh, the first two games, first two matches were great. Uh, and then the last match was actual horse shit. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at patreon.com slash franklaport. You can check me out at manatraders.com. Check me out at uh, coolstuffinc.com. All the links and the promo codes you're going to want to use are down below. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you guys. Have a great night.